So about that bacon discussion. Well, so episode. something someone mentioned to me recently that I didn't really think about before. Um, the Generation 4 Pokemon. Or, no. Generation 5. Uh, the, the one with Snivy. Uh-huh. So, so you, got, you got Snivy, which is basically Excalibur. You, you got Oshawott, the, uh, the water one, which is like a hideous uh -huh. clown-looking thing. Yeah. And then you have the fire type, which is a little pig. It's self-cooking bacon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's you, terrible. You, you train it until it, like, evolves, and it's, like, big, and it's fat, and you're like, okay, cool. Use fire blast on yourself. That is just terrible. I think it's hilarious. Also, I think it may be a thing in here. Oh, but I may need space jump to get it. Never mind. <laughs> Meanwhile, while well, the nightmare just kind of does its thing. He's like, hey, sup, I'm the nightmare. You're going to fight me eventually. After I tear the place up. Come on, let's see if I can instinctively find my way around here. Again. Let's see, where are we going? Oh, the data room. That's right. I don't mean to unlock the security rooms this time. Yeah, you just need to right back Yeah, like I said, it's, it's straightforward. We just go in, get it, and leave. You mean you don't get there and it's like, oh, this thing stole the thing. Nope, and see? We've already got it. Powerbomb data has been downloaded. As a ball, hold right trigger and press B button. Yep, that's all there is to it. I got power bombs now. Check it out. Did you need to do that? No, but it's cool. <laughs> and, uh... And yeah, I just need to go down and around like I did the first time. Neat. Neat. Actually. Yeah. It's like you know where things are. It's crazy. Oh shit, FAX. It's okay. You will never find me behind this wall. Haha, -ha. SAX, you came into this room for nothing. You'll never think to jump over that tiny little wall thing. Don't. He's like, what was that? <laughs> I was like, don't provoke it! Just an animal. Oh. Just an enemy. <laughs> you didn't even have to hit it that time. It was just the fact that you were up there. What's going on? Stop tempting fate. <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I actually do need it to leave because I have to power bomb this wall. But this thing is all power bombed too, so it'll go. Actually, I'm not sure if it does leave. I may have to run for it after I do it. Tempting fate! Gotta go fast! Oh, I guess it does leave. Never mind. Or fate maybe it was just not... didn't notice. Maybe it didn't notice, yeah. Yeah, I threw my wide beam, bitches. And I totally needed that uh, red X. I love the straightforward power-ups. Like, hey, there's this thing here. Behind a wall of things you blow up with this weapon. That you have. Yeah. I just like how, uh... The power bomb just makes finding stuff so much easier. Yeah, really. It's like, gee, where do I go? Well, that's where I go. <laughs> Now let's get the fuck out of here. Go to a place that isn't stupid and fat. This is probably the least stupid and fat place there is right now, actually. Just because of how straightforward everything is right now. What about Sector 1? We never go back to Sector 1. Exactly. <laughs> it's 
probably all like peaceful and stuff. There's like nothing going on. I mean, there. If you go back there at a certain point in the game, like once everything is like open up to you, and it's like all you're doing is finding the the, the rest of the upgrades before the final boss. Uh, you find Metroid shells like lying around, like like you know how they leave the cocoon behind when they evolve into their next form. Right. You find those like scattered around uh, like one. And it foreshadows how you fight the Omega Metroid at the end. Come on, goddamn. I remember this one being a little bit annoying, but not too difficult. Yep. Yep. Aha! You almost got me there, but I was too quick. Whoa. Yeah, I think the main reason I know about the whole Metroid shell thing is mostly just from playing Metroid 2. Yeah. Like, I didn't... I I remember seeing them before, because the first time I played the game, I went for 100% completion just because. just because I had to, I like, looked up a guide for it. And I think the guide actually mentioned, like... Uh, these shells are from the Metroid that you fight at the end of the game. Because I'd already beaten the game, that's why I was looking up the guide for it, just to have a 100% completion in one file. Right. I was like, oh, that's cool, I guess. I mean, I, I, I didn't know that because I never played you know, Metroid 2 or anything, so... It's just one of those references that kind of went right over my head. Did that just knock me out? God damn it. You are so pro. I thought it would kill them. Wait, what? Oh, it's... <laughs> wow. I'm fucking blind. Uh, that's funny. Hey. Come on. Yep. I like how that power bomb thing is just down there. Yeah, to, like, really. Mess with your head, though. Oh, no. I'm trapped forever. But you can just bomb. Why is that power bomb thing there? <laughs> to mess with you. I could have gotten that missile the first time I came through here. Yep. You sure could have. But you didn't. Well, whatever. I got what I came here for, and now we're on our way out. Save. Door. Nav room Bounce that on you the have navigation to go the to. Platform. Okay. <laughs> Samus. Return to your ship. I have important information. You can't just tell me here. I mean, really? Oh, that would be like my first question. Like, why can't you tell me here? I mean,. What, is the SIX going to be listening in on our conversation? Yes. I'm a computer. <laughs> Maybe that's what it wants to tell you. That the SAX is in the nav rooms listening to your stuff. So you just told it that I'm going to be on my way back to my ship. Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. Good thing I can wall jump. Oh. <laughs> Except some inexplicable force is blocking you. Yeah, really. Invisible walls. How do they work? Well, they ah. work like walls. Except Get you can't. You can't see things. And this is the part where you fight the spider. Uh, no. This is the part where you find Ridley. And he leaves. So about me killing you that one time. Oh, never mind. You just kind of collapsed and went to pieces. Samus has that effect on people. Oh god, I hate these things. Not that bad. They're just annoying. Also, really gross. Cause they like they're spitting. Yeah. Oh, also, I do need to kill everything in this room. 
Wish I could do a power bomb. A couple power bombs at least. Yeah, that's twelve of them. I like how the power bomb like holds the yeah. things to you. Well, it doesn't look like a power bomb one, but I think I'm probably good with the run. Yeah, smash. There's a power up under you somewhere. Yeah. I think it's uh power bombs. More missiles. Docking Bay, next episode I shall return to my ship. And see what it's bitching about. Yeah.